Okay, so I've just set the 10 minute timer on my Garmin watch to get started on the first episode of the Step and Injury Prevention podcast. So this is going to be a daily 10 minute running injury prevention advice and uh, running tip podcast that's going out to the Step and users who are basically just getting into uh, stepping in a big way and maybe haven't had a big background in running because when you are getting started in a project like this, it'll, it's very exciting. I'm I'm, I'm really excited about it. I've just been uh, involved in the last uh, week or so, but there's a lot of potential for people to uh, basically curb their earnings and um, not be able to keep up with the project if you get injured. And there's no more likely way that you're gonna get injured than uh, basically doing too much too soon and doing something your body is not quite ready for. So over the course of these podcasts and in the Step and Injury Prevention group that I've set up on Facebook, make sure you check out the links. Uh, there is going to be yeah, daily advice and, and um, questions that you guys can give me uh, to answer how you can keep consistent with this new or maybe old uh, running habit and really get the most out of it. So. Uh, before I get started, I'll just give a quick introduction about um, who I am and why I've set this up. Uh, my name is Phil White and I'm a physio based in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I have been a yeah, keen athlete my whole life, played a lot of uh, ultimate frisbee back in the day, which is maybe a sport that people haven't heard of, but it's a, a really intensive running sport. So I was uh, doing basically that for 11 years, played five world championships with that, um, and then moved on to doing a whole bunch of other sports like powerlifting, uh, but then into beach volleyball. And if you are watching the video, you'll notice I have a few cuts in my face because I've recently, <laughs> on the weekend, I played beach volleyball for the first time in a while and I dove for a di I did a diving catch, I'm sorry, not catch, a diving hit, trying to save the ball and went head first into the pole. So that's why I have cuts on my face. Uh, if you haven't got the video, then um, yeah, check out the group where I'll be posting these daily as well. See the cuts on my face. Uh, but basically, since uh, giving up my ultimate frisbee, wouldn't say a career, but a career, I have been just trying out lots of different new sports and have been really enjoying sort of being a beginner at uh, lots of different sports and learning the best way to uh, yeah, get, get through them and um, perform well at them. So my professional background, I'm a, I was a massage therapist, um, a remedial sports massage therapist for uh, 10 years now, but over that course of that time, I studied an exercise and sports science degree and a doctor of physiotherapy degree in, um, in Sydney, Australia. And for those who are maybe from America, physical therapy, physiotherapy, same thing there. Um, so yeah, got the exercise and sports science background, learned lots about uh, basically how to perform in, in all sorts of different sports. And then with the physiotherapy, really focusing on that injury prevention side of things. So I have a uh, clinic in Sydney, um, but I also have been doing lots of online work uh, with a gym called Unity Gym um, and have been doing a lot of podcasts there. So I thought, hey, this is a, a good chance to really provide some value for the new step in users. So running wise, I just finished my first marathon. I did it uh, three weeks ago, the Canberra Marathon, um, and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've had lots of amazing running clients over my professional career with people who were running two hour 14 marathons, some of the best in the country, um, and clients who run in the 24 hour running world championships and um, ultra trail Mont Blanc where you're running 160 uh, kilometers or 100 miles at altitude over mountains or another client who has run across Iceland 570 Ks in, um, in the course of about five days. So yeah, I've been working closely with a lot of runners for years um, and it's sort of normalized long distance, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, the marathon was a lot harder than I expected, but I'd just done a, um, a, my first half Ironman triathlon as well, which is about a, a five hour race as well. So I thought this, um, the marathon should be relatively easy, but running is no joke. It is hard, it is hard on the body, um, but it's great for the body if you give it the right um, lead up to do it. So with that, it's just taught me so much about um, yeah what it is that the body needs when it comes to running. And over the course of these um, these podcasts, what I'm and videos, um, the aim is to basically give you the um, all the background information you need to make this a really sustainable, um, enjoyable, and ideally pain-free 
experience and for all you people who are starting out with Stefan um, as walking I think that's a great idea if you're not quite up to running but would love to basically give you the um, the knowledge the skills and the exercises to get you to be able to do the jogging if you like or even um, working up to the running eventually because yeah having that option to run obviously you can earn a little bit more than with the walking and jogging so I've been um, starting for the last uh, couple of weeks with Stefan and, and done the running and it's um yeah it's a solid pace that you have to maintain so to be able to work up to that pace you're going to really need to lay in some solid groundwork um, and approach it in a really smart way because if you just um, push yourself every day it's it's going to end pretty poorly um, and it's going to mean that you'll either have to to you know stop uh, sell your sell the runners I guess and just go to walkers or or maybe even quit the game entirely if you really cause yourself uh, too much strife so uh, to start out with we've only got uh, you should be most of the way through your run now there's three minutes and 52 seconds left so I want to start out by saying um, giving you the, the kind of big picture of what you need to think about when it comes to preparing your body for this and we'll be diving into it in more detail uh, as time goes on but the first thing I want you to remember is that the body adapts to what you spend your time doing so if you haven't been doing anything like this before so no running uh, not much walking if you've been mostly at a computer and <laughs> not doing so much kind of sport over COVID, maybe you used to do it back in the day, but you haven't been doing it for a while, then your body has adapted to doing not a lot. So it's gonna be really key to realize that if you suddenly go from doing not a lot <laughs> to daily running, especially if you're having to go above eight kilometers an hour, that's gonna be really challenging on the body. Even if you did it back in the day, if you've had a, you know more than sort of a month, three months off, it's gonna be a big shock to the system. And basically your body loves stress it needs stress to cause adaptation but if you go too much too soon then the same stress is going to be counterproductive um, and potentially cause injury so I want you to think about stress plus recovery equals adaptation so stress is going to be the training it's going to be the running um, or the walking and if you have stress plus recovery then you'll get adaptation. So the easiest thing to think about with recovery is that's gonna be rest, but step in makes that a little bit challenging because you're gonna be running every single day, so you won't have rest days. So we've gotta be smart about how we're recovering and also how much stress we're putting into that equation as well to come up with um, the right amount to basically make that 10 minutes easier and easier so that by the time you've accumulated enough GST and GMT or Solana to um, get yourself three pairs and you're doing 20 minutes a day that's sustainable and that you can handle it because uh, again we really want to make this sustainable enjoyable pain-free and good for your body long term not something that puts you off running entirely so remember it's stress plus recovery equals adaptation you have to get that equation right otherwise we're going to run into trouble so when it comes to um, exercise I think it's really good to think about it like medicine it's often talked about that if you could buy a pill that um, did all the benefits that exercise had uh, it would the person who invented that would be uh, the richest person in the world because exercise really is such a wonderful thing for your body but at the same time if we do too much too soon it can be problematic so think about it like medication you have to take the right amount you have to take the right dosage um, if you take too much too soon then your body's not going to be ready for it and it's not going to like it and you can overdose and have a bad result. In the same time, if you don't take the medication when you need to take the medication, <laughs> then that can be bad too. So we just want to think about how can we make it just right for you and I'm going to go into detail about exactly how to do that with different pacing strategies, strength and conditioning, mobility training um, and in-depth sort of recovery uh, protocols to get that equation of stress plus recovery equal adaptation right so that you guys can um yeah go forth prosper train every day absolutely love it and hopefully make some good money out of this because i think it's a really exciting project like i've been in cryptocurrency for a while now but this is the first time i've really thought hey this is something that has so much potential to do um, a lot of good in this world 
So you've got five seconds left to run, so I'll be wrapping it up. Thank you so much for tuning into the first episode. Um, make sure you do, there goes the buzzer, so I'll finish up. Um, make sure you do check out the uh, Stepan Injury um, Prevention Facebook group. And if you have any friends who are doing, or partners who are doing Stepan with you, uh, ask them to join in as well. And it's a place where you can uh, post questions, and which I'll be answering in Q&As and episodes like this. So I hope to see you there. And uh, if you did get something out of this, I'm going for a, I guess, a modern cryptocurrency sort of um, approach to this, where if you did find this information useful, maybe on get, uh, send me one of your uh, a GST coin that you've earned on your daily run today, or a GMT coin, or maybe some Solana, as that really helps uh, me out. So hope to see you on the Facebook group, and tune in tomorrow for your next update.